Today I fucked up by pranking a friend when I have a disorder that affects my memory. So, if today was a couple of decades ago, yes, I'm middle aged. Today I fucked up when I revenge pranked a co-worker. My co-worker is a caffeine addict, the kind of guy who cannot function without his morning cup of coffee. He grinds the beans himself and really savors it, and he has this very particular routine, nay ritual, about it. Coffee time is very important, it's sacred and not to be messed with. Unless you're me, with absolutely no understanding of coffee and caffeine and the levels of need some people, including my co-worker have. The day after he successfully pranked me, I decided that my revenge prank was going to be to switch his coffee beans with decaf. Since I'm not a coffee drinker, and I had no idea how mean this was, but in my defense, it was another co-worker's idea and I just naively ran with it. We had shared housing provided near the work site, so the plan was to swap the beans once and then switch the beans back. However, I have a disorder, I didn't know I had it at the time, that affects my memory and I completely forgot about the prank. For days, I watched him grind those beans and make his coffee every morning while I had breakfast and my memory was not jogged. Until after about 3 or 4 days, my co-worker was complaining about how tired he was lately and that he was needing to stop at a coffee hut on the highway on the way into work to get a second cup. My other co-worker looked at me, and I apparently didn't react. So he said miscellaneous, did you switch the beans back? I was confused for a bit, and so was my co-worker, but I did remember the prank after a minute or two and started laughing and apologizing. Luckily he took it in stride and had a good laugh about it as well. But for the rest of the summer he called me the queen of escalation and advised people not to prank me. I felt kind of bad about how mean that prank ended up being. TL slash doctor, revenge pranked my co-worker by switching his coffee beans to decaf and forgot about the prank until he complained that he was having to buy a second cup of coffee every morning. Felt mean because it was went on for so long. My faff coffee prank was taking the coffee creamer and pouring it into a different container, then replacing it with water and hiding the real stuff. We replaced the milk as well. Both were cardboard containers you couldn't see through. Coffee addict roommate wakes up, grunts hello, makes a french press, which takes a while to steep, and carries their supplies to their room, creamer included. Comes out a few minutes later, we get a very funny in a kind of flat tone. April fools. They get the milk and return to their room. Seconds later, bursts out with where is the milk, while we stifle laughter. Omg um, that is good. LOL. Oh man, I get a wicked headache if I miss my coffee for one day. Yeah, I think he did too, until he got his second cup. He was just relieved that there was nothing wrong with him. Poor guy. Nah that's funny. Funnier he didn't notice his beans tasted different. That'd have tipped my coffee addicted self right off. Best way to shut a coffee snob down. Hey remember that time you couldn't tell the difference between decaf and regular coffee? I am a barista and you have sparked my passion for April Fools once more. I shall follow in your footsteps queen of escalation. WHSDS your disorders if you don't mind sharing. Associative identity disorder, used to be called multiple personality disorder. Basically, my six year old alter is the prankster, and an adult alter handles work etc and there's varying amounts of amnesia between alters. After the prank was done, the prankster's job was over and she probably wasn't out for a few days or if she was it wasn't long enough to remember the prank. Today I fucked up unmuted zoom lecture. Today I fucked up. To set the stage, I was in an automotive zoom class, muted and no video, or so I thought. I was on reddit on my other phone on r slash rare insults. I read one that made me laugh. I called out to a friend that was in my room and read him the line. I also unmuted myself. Professor talking about welding. Droid hey you know what, you talk a lot of shit for someone in cum shot distance. Professor um someone's mic is on, droid, your mic is on. Professor continues lecture without a mention. I wanted to go die in a hole. I checked audio later because it's a zoom recording, perfect audio, perfectly captured my absolute fuck up. Too long didn't read, told my professor you talk a lot of shit for someone in cum shot range during zoom class. This gives me second-hand embarrassment. 
Oh fuck, the recording made it 10x worse I believe. Accidental unmuting happened to me only once and I was lucky I was only complaining about my brother at that time lol. And the way cool username. Took 3 days to be able to listen I don't think I'll ever forget it. And I just said it so casually baha hi friend said I sounded drunk. I was sat next to my girlfriend while she was on Zoom in one of her lectures, and an older student in the Zoom call picked up her laptop for a walk. She had obviously muted the lecture and was on Facebook or something and forgot about it. She went to the toilet and took a shit on camera. People were shouting her name, trying to get her attention, but alas, it was muted and it only drew attention to her sat on the toilet in view of the camera shitting. Took her so long to notice and the professor was so visibly stressed, with her hands on her head, shouting to get her attention. The student finished wiping up and came back before realizing what she had done. She was so embarrassed I felt so sorry for her. Safe to say she never has her camera on anymore. Poor woman. Oral of the story is pay attention in lectures. Edit, the lecture was recorded. Oh god, thankfully it doesn't show video. My cum shot distance is about 2 inches so they'd have to be pretty fucking close. Lamal. LMFAO. Today I fucked up by blowing up my family's microwave with an egg. Obligatory this didn't happen today, it happened about 12 years ago. I was a stupid kid. I'm going to be honest there. I didn't really think a lot of stuff through before I executed plans. This was the same situation. It was just after Easter and we had a bunch of hard boiled eggs. And for some reason I wanted one that was warm, like had just come out of the pot. So, I thought I might as well microwave it. I didn't want the egg to explode and get everywhere, so I thought I would put it in a cup of water to disperse some of the heat. I slap that baby into the microwave and put it in for 4 minutes. About 3 minutes in we hear this huge bang sounding like a gun had gone off. My dad rushes to the kitchen and we see the microwave has this giant eggy mess covering the window. We pop the microwave open and there is a giant dent in the top of the microwave. It actually looked like a bomb went off in there. The dent was at least 4 inches long protruding from the top of the microwave, making it difficult to get it out of its little enclosed gnome it was in. We ended up concluding that the egg in a water cup made it act like a cannon and the energy had to go somewhere and why not almost through the roof of the microwave. My parents weren't happy, that microwave was only 6 months old at the time, and they had to go buy a new one because of me and my egg bomb. Too long didn't read, put an egg in a cup of water and put it in the microwave. Egg and cup of water acted like a mini cannon shooting upwards into the microwave making a huge dent, ruining it and pissing my parents off. Once my mom got stuck outside talking to a neighbor while boiling an egg and it exploded everywhere in the kitchen. And it smelled awful. What's the science behind this? I did the exact same thing when I was 12 except I tried to hard boil a raw egg in a cup of water. The egg and coffee cup exploded and blew the door off the microwave. Thankfully no one was hurt. 33 years later, I still laugh at that story. Congratulations, you kind of reinvented artillery. Kind of. I'm really tempted to try it again, but maybe with a thrift store microwave. It could be worse. You could have reenacted the Kid Battle comic where two kids turn the microwave into a video game by blowing up raw eggs inside.